Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. China's new destroyer enters service, branded one of world's most powerful warships. China's groundbreaking new destroyer, branded the most powerful warship in the world, has been unveiled in a bold warning to the West. Increasing its naval arsenal, China unveiled the second Type 055 large destroyer, claimed to be one of the largest in the world by the state-run media. Praising the arrival of the new vessel, the state-run Global Times, which acts as a mouthpiece for Xi Jinping, reported the vessel will safeguard China's sovereignty abroad. The newspaper said, the commissioning of the Type 055 guided missile destroyers, considered some of the most powerful warships in the world, marks the strategic development transformation of the PLA Navy and will enable the service to better safeguard China's sovereignty, territorial integrity and development interests, analysts said. China now has two large destroyers of this type in operation after the first, the Nanchang, was unveiled last year. The warships are also used to lead strike groups and house 112 vertical launch pads, while it also has a dual-band radar system capable of taking on low-Earth satellites. In a boost to China's naval power, a further six Type 055 destroyers are expected to be built in the next two years. The unveiling of the new vessel comes as the UK prepares to send the new carrier strike group to the South China Sea. While there, the vessel will conduct drills with Japan and the Indo-Pacific later this year in face of China's growing naval influence in the region. The HMS Queen Elizabeth, which lead the group, departed Portsmouth this month and will conduct sea trials before arriving in the South China Sea in the summer. The move to send the strike group was labeled as one of the most important naval missions in a generation by Defense Secretary Ben Wallace. He said, Japan and the UK have forged a close defense and security partnership that is being elevated to new heights this year when the UK carrier strike group visits the Indo-Pacific. The most significant Royal Navy deployment in a generation demonstrates the UK's commitment to working with our partners in the region to uphold the rules-based international system and promote our shared security and prosperity. Foreign Secretary Dominic Robb added the countries will forge stronger naval ties in the future in order to safeguard peace. Mr Robb said, Japan is a key security partner for the UK and a close, enduring friend. This year we'll see our two nations working even more closely together with the UK's presidency of the G7 and hosting of the UN Climate Conference. The UK's Indo-Pacific tilt, including the visit of HMS Queen Elizabeth to the region, demonstrates our shared priorities and common strategic interests from maritime security to climate change and free trade. Both Germany and France are also sending naval groups to the South China Sea to combat Beijing's aggression in the region. Despite the increased presence of foreign vessels, China has vowed to tackle any attempt to violate its sovereignty. Beijing has also vowed to stand up against the Quad Alliance of America, India, Australia and Japan. Joe Biden is due to hold a quadrilateral summit with the leaders of the other three nations as they step up preparations against China's influence. The virtual meeting may be held as early as next week in order to draw up a strategy to tackle China. The alliance emerged in 2007 following and has been thrown into focus due to the threat of China against Japan and Australia. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.